Welcome everyone to our afternoon happy yoga class. My name is Tammy and I'll be guiding you through the next 45 minutes. Our happy yoga class will begin at the top of our mat with our ankles, knees, and hips in line with each other. So looking down at your ankles, lining them up with your hips, draw the tailbone down towards the ground. Lifting your shoulders up, back, and then down. Try that again, just a couple more times. Lift up, back, and down. One more time. Draw the tailbone down again. You can contract through the quadriceps, so you can engage your quadriceps. Imagine that you're drawing your kneecaps up. Lift your toes off the ground, spread them out, and then place them back down. Your foundation is always through the feet, so feeling your foundation. Take your arms just by the sides now with your thumbs pointing forward. Your chin may be jutting forward a little bit, so tuck it in so that your ears are in line with your shoulders. Lots of setup at first, drawing your navel in towards your spine and standing nice and tall. Moving into our sun salutation, Namaskar A. We draw our arms up overhead with a nice big inhale breath through the nose. And then exhale, diving forward, bend through the knees, hinge through the hips, and let the head hang. Inhale, come up to halfway lift with a flat back. And then exhale, release. We're gonna do that two more times. So coming up, halfway lift, flat back. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, come up to halfway lift, flat back. Hug the knees bent to help keep the back flat. And then take the hands down towards the ground. Step back with the right foot, left foot into a lunge position. And then plank. Holding plank here, we jut our bodies forward. Take the knees down towards the ground, hug your elbows to the waist and slowly lower in towards the ground. Uncurl the toes, draw the navel in and inhale to up dog. Exhale, release. Two more times with up dog. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, release. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. We take the toes down and a nice strong push up the elbows, hug the waist again into downward facing dog, alternating knee bends. Now we're focusing on our breath, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Seeing if you can hear your breath as we move through all the different poses, movements. Bending through the knees, look to the hands, walk your feet forward. Ankles, knees, hips in line with each other again. Toes pointing forward and inhale, come up to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, release, fold. Inhale all the way up, take your arms up overhead. And exhale, hands to the heart center. Okay, let's do that again. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, stand tall. Exhale, dive forward. Bend through the knees to help keep the back flat too. Inhale, come up to halfway lift. Now exhale, take your hands down to the ground, step back with the right foot, left foot into that lunge, and then plank. Then jutting the body forward, we lower ourselves into the ground. Your knees can come down towards the ground. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now the exhale breath, bend through the knees and look at your hands, walk your feet forward. Ankles, knees, hips in line, and inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, release, fold. Inhale, sink your arms up overhead and come all the way up, standing tall. Take your arms up and then hands to the heart center for prayer. One more time, inhale, sink your arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward, hinge the hips. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale to plank, chaturanga. Jutting the body forward, you can lower yourself into the ground. Knees come down or coming down straight. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Inhaling and exhaling. You may bend the knees at any time also. Gripping your mat with your finger, finger pads take pressure off of the wrist. With the exhale breath, bend through the knees. Everyone look to the hands, walk your feet forward. Top the mat, inhale, come up to half the lift. Exhale, release, hold. Inhale, sink your arms up overhead and coming all the way up. Hands above the head and then exhale, hands to the heart center. Okay, that was Namaskara A, Sun Salutation A. I'm gonna go into Sun Salutation B. So bring your big toes together, a little bit more challenging for balance. Relax to the shoulders, stand tall. So we're adding just a couple parts in here. So first part, inhale, draw your arms up overhead and sit down into a squat. And then exhale, coming all the way up and dive forward, just like before. Inhale, come up to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, release, fold, and sit back with right foot, left foot into your plank. You can come down to the knees or jutting the body forward and lower yourself into the ground. Inhale to up dog, pubic bone down, tops of the feet press down, draw the navel in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your right leg straight up towards the sky, three legged dog. Exhale, step between your hands. High lunge. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three legged dog. Left leg sweeps up towards the sky. Exhale, step between your hands. High lunge. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead or to the waist, too. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, hold. Exhale, hold. Inhale, hold. Upside down, V. With the exhale breath, bend through the knees, everyone. Walk, step, jump your feet forward. Big toes touch. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, release, hold. Inhale to squat. And then exhale, coming all the way up. And then take your arms the opposite way and hands to your heart center. One more time. Inhale to squat. Exhale, come up and dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale to plank, chaturanga. Jutting the body forward, lower yourself into the ground. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your right leg straight up towards the sky. Three legged dog. Exhale, step between your hands. Lunge and then high lunge. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your left leg straight up towards the sky. Three-legged dog. Exhale, step between your hands. Knee point straight ahead. Inhale, high lunge. And exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. You can be in child's pose at any time too, taking a little break. Exhale, breath, bringing us back, bend to the knees, walk, step, or jump your feet forward, big toes touch. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, release, hold. Inhale, sweep your arms up to squat. And then exhale all the way up and arms come the other way. Okay, hands to the heart center. Whew, that's lots. Crescent moon, our next pose. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead and intertwine your fingers. So wrap your fingers around each other and take your um, index fingers, point them straight up, wrap your thumbs around each other. Arms right up, relax through the shoulders, arms nice and close to the ears. And now inhale, breath again. 
and then exhale, come up and over to the left side. So imagine that you're coming up and over, looking over a ball, leaning up and over to the left side. Keep hugging your arms to the sides of your head, just where your ears are. Stretching out through our right side here. Next, inhale, breath coming all the way back up. And then exhale, dive forward. Let your head hang, bend through the knees to help keep that back flat, let the head hang. Okay, let's work on a little balance here, holding onto opposite elbows and then do a sway side to side. Come to center, let the arms hang. Inhale, come up to halfway, lift flat back. Exhale, release, hold. And then inhale, coming all the way up, wrapping your hands around each other, crescent moon on the other side. So wrapping your hands, fingers around each other, I should say. And then index fingers pointing up, wrap your thumbs opposite way. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, coming up and over to the right side. Stretching out through our left side of our body. Next, inhale, breath, coming all the way back up. Exhale, dive forward. Again, let the head hang, arms dangling. Okay, balance again. Hold on to opposite elbows and a sway side to side. And then release your arms. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale all the way back up, arms come overhead. And then exhale, hands to the heart center. Okay, inhale, hold. Exhale, sit down into a squat. Now your squat's checking to make sure that the knees are not passing your toes, so you have to sit your bottom back. Adding a twist to the squat. So first setting yourself up, feeling your foundation through your feet, taking your, your legs close together, draw the navel in, relax through the shoulders, so draw your shoulders away from the ears, doing a rotation, a little twist, inhale, Exhale, rotating over to the left side. Your right elbow is going to come onto the outside of the left knee. Now, the right knee is going to want to jut forward. I'd like you to square your knees. Look down at your knees so they're in line. Inhale, hold. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, breath. Coming back towards the center on twist. Let the head hang, let your arms hang. Draw your bottom up towards the sky. Inhale, breath, come up to halfway, lift flat back. Exhale, release, fold. Inhale, all the way back up, arms overhead. Exhale, come down into the squat. Inhale, hold. Exhale, twisting over to the right side here. Left elbow goes, right elbow goes up. Left elbow goes on the outside of the right knee. The left knee will want to jut forward. So look down at those knees. Line them up, square them up. Relax to the shoulders. Keep breathing. Exhale, breath leads us back towards the center. Head hangs, draw your bottom up towards the sky. And then inhale, happy lift, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. And then exhale, hands to the heart center, hold. Ah. Okay, place your hands onto the hips, bend through the knees and step or do a jump out with your ankle knees and hips in line with each other. Take your arms down by the side. Another fold forward. This time with our peace fingers, we'll wrap them around our big toes. 
Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward. So hinge the hips, bend to the knees. With your peace fingers, wrap them around the big toes. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, fold. Let the head hang. Elbows come out to the sides. Inhale, hold. Exhale, hold. Clear your breath. Inhale, release your toes, take your hands forward. Exhale, coming up halfway, place your hands onto the hips. Inhale, all the way up, small back, bend through the upper part of your back, draw your navel in, lengthen through your spine, elongate through the spine. And then release, exhale. Okay, one more time for our fold forward. Inhale, arms up overhead exhale dive forward again now this time the palms our palms are going to go underneath the bottoms of our feet the soles of our feet here you're going to press down your toes are coming to your wrist crease for both hands here pressing down inhale lengthen through the spine exhale fold forward draw your elbows out to the sides and your head hang Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, release your hands from your feet here. Just take your hands forward. Exhale, come up to halfway, halfway lift. Place your hands onto the hips. And then inhale all the way up, small back bend, and it's through the upper part of your back, lifting up and opening the heart up towards the sky. Exhale, release. Lots of folding forward here, and then lifting up and opening up through the upper part of our body. Always so good to do. Makes us feel good, makes us feel happy. Bend through the knees, and then step your right foot. The distance between your legs is your one leg distance. And then turning so that your heel is lined up with your front heel. You could also have your front heel lined up with your back arch. Now the left knee, sometimes we'll want to turn in. I like to make sure that it's pointing straight ahead. Inhale, sweep your arms up to shoulder height. And then exhale, lunge forward for warrior two. Looking over your middle finger, looking towards the front, opening up to the hips, left knee straight ahead. Your upper body is over top of the pelvis. Keep breathing. Extended side angle, we sweep our right arm up and over with the inhale breath, exhale breath, rotate your body towards the front, take your form down, lightly resting on your quad. Inhale, hold. Exhale, hold, long through both sides of the waist, we're not squishing down. Into exalted warrior, inhale, sweep your left arm up and overhead, exhale, hold. Relaxing our shoulders. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, bend through both knees now and step right to meet the left. Shift through our hips into the other side. So I'm just going to switch sides here. You don't have to, but I am so that you can see me open up. Same thing on the other side, bending through our knees and then step now the left foot straight back. And then take, turning on the ball of the foot, take your heel down towards the floor, lining up your heels. 
Inhale, sweep your arms up to shoulder height. Exhale, lunge forward, right knee tracking straight ahead. Upper body over top. Your pelvis. Inhale, hold. Exhale, hold. Exhale, extended side angle, sweep your left arm up and over and rotate your body towards the front and exhale, hold. Inhale. Exhale. Keep breathing. Exalted warrior, inhale, sweep your right arm up and over, left arm goes down, exhale, hold. Right knee still, still tracking forward, pointing forward. Notice if you're really gripping the mat with your toes, flip them up. Inhale to warrior two, Virabhadrasana B. Exhale, down through both of the knees and then step left to meet the right. Top of your mat now for everyone. Ankles, knees and hips in line with each other. Turn your palms to face the front into mountain pose here, Tadasana. Close your eyes, let yourself take a moment here. This may be the first time that you've been able to take a moment for yourself in stillness. Just doing a head to toe check, letting yourself settle. Opening up your eyes. Place your hands onto the hips and through the knees. We'll do the step back with the right foot, but the distance is not as great. Coming into pyramid here. So step straight back. All your toes face forward right now to help square the hips. So the distance is not as great between your, your legs as we did before. So finding a comfortable stance here. If you find that your hips are square here, you can try turning your back toes, right toes out to a 45 degree angle. If you can help keep the hips square at all times, it's really good. So you can place your hands on your hips right now. Coming into pyramid, take your hands behind your bottom. Draw the navel in, hold on to the hands or hold them to the elbows. Inhale, draw your heart up towards the sky with a small back bend. Draw that navel in. Exhale, fold forward. Now you're folding forward with a flat back. To help keep that back flat, you can bend the left knee. Your gaze, your drishti is at your big toe, left big toe. Inhaling and exhaling. Next, inhale, breath. Make your way back up, nice and strong. Feel your foundation. Remember, it's through the feet. Small back bend. And then exhale. Come into warrior three. So take your arms by the sides, lifting your right foot off the ground, both legs straight to make it stronger. Flex your right foot to, foot to make it stronger. Relax through the shoulders. Slowly take your right foot down towards the ground and step right to meet the left. 
and a shift through our hips. Okay, and to the other side, the same thing. So we stand tall, come into pyramid, place your hands onto the hips, bend to the knees, and step the left foot back down to pyramid. Okay, again, setting yourself up however you like, having the hips square. Take your hands behind your back, hold on to the hands, draw the navel in, hold on to the elbows or reverse prayer. Lengthen through your spine so we're not overextending into the into the lower back here, switching into our lumbar spine. Inhale, small back bend. Keep elongating through the spine. And then exhale, fold forward. Right knee may be bent to help keep the back flat, looking at your right big toe. Draw Drawing the right hip back, left hip forward with this hold. length to the back of your hamstrings here. Feel that stretch. Inhale breath, making your way back up nice and slow. Small back bend again. Shine your heart up. Exhale, warrior three. Both legs are straight. It is stronger. Flex the left foot. Toes down towards the ground. Arms by the side. Arms may be coming forward too. And then slowly take your left foot down towards the ground and step left to meet the right. And then shift your hips here. Okay. Bend through the knees and step the right foot back. A nice big step back here. And then turn on the ball of the foot and toes pointing forward. And then on the left heel, rotate so your left toes are fully or facing forward. Okay, stand tall. We'll do one more forward fold here. Take your arms behind your back, intertwine your fingers, draw your shoulders down. Inhale, draw your heart up towards the sky for a small back bend. And then exhale. Fold forward, bend the knees to help keep the back flat, and then lift your arms up and over, big arch overhead. Inhaling and exhaling. The closer your palms are together, the deeper the stretch you're going to feel through your shoulders, opening up to the chest. Inhale, just coming forward here. Exhale, come up to halfway. Inhale all the way back up. Your arms may come up overhead. And then exhale, bring your arms down, bend through the knees, and step your right foot to meet your left foot. It's the opposite. <laughs> Other side. Okay. On camera, coming to the top of your mat again. Stand tall. Okay. Arms come by your sides. Stepping out to the sides of the mat, turn your toes out. Turn your knees out. Sitting down into Malasana, garland pose into a low squat here. I'm gonna take my right elbow, press it onto the inside of my right knee, and left elbow, press it onto the inside of my knee. Taking my hands together into prayer. Draw the tailbone down towards the ground, opening up through our pelvis. And then slowly release, take your hands down towards the ground and then take the head down, let the head hang, draw your bottom up towards the sky and then on the heels, rotate. Take your toes forward, so on the heels, head hangs. 
Inhale, come up to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, release, fold. Okay. And then heel toe, heel toe, your feet in a little bit closer together with the ankles knees in line with each other. And then this time, inhale, come up to halfway lift. Exhale, release, fold. And inhale, sweep your arms up, overhead. And then exhale, hugs the heart center. Making our way down towards the ground. Sitting in butterfly. Taking the bottoms of your feet together and then do a little shift with the body, rocking side to side. Sitting up tall, inhale. Exhale, fold forward and open up your feet like a book. Place your right elbow down, the inside of the leg, left elbow down. Let the head hang. Inhale, breath, bringing you back up. Exhale, release. Take both of your legs forward and then shake them out. Bend through both of the knees. Open up your feet wider than the hips and then windshield wipe your knees side to side. Come into boat pose. Take both of the feet back towards the center. Hold on behind your knees, so into your knee hips. Sit, sit your body back. Lift up through the chest. Engage your buttons as those well are your energy locks. So draw the navel in, lift up the pelvic floor muscle. Lift your right foot off the floor, toes up towards the sky, flexing both feet, left foot uh, lifting up. Flexing both feet, keep holding on, lift the chest up, release your right hand, release your left hand, holding your boat, looking at your big toes, and straighten both of the legs too, keep holding. You're almost there. And then slowly release, take right foot down, left foot down. Turning your head so that it's going to be at the top of the mat, coming down onto the side of the body, and then roll over to your back. Take your legs up, legs up the wall. And hold here. Taking your blood back towards your heart. Body soften. Releasing, bending through both of the knees. Take the knees in towards the chest and then turn your knees out towards your armpits into happy baby. Holding on to, you can hold on to underneath your knee hips or your ankles or the sides of your feet or your big toes with your peace fingers. So find what's going to work for you. You may flex both of your feet. And opening up inside the pelvis here. Slowly release, bringing both the legs back. Take your right foot down, left foot down towards the ground. Cross your right ankle over your left knee or figure four. Wrap your hands around your left leg and take your foot off the floor here. Flexing both feet to help take pressure off the knees. You may place your right hand inside of the right knee and pressing it gently out. Or bigger opening. That right side of the hip here. You may pull 
close your eyes. Still here in your breath, still present. Here we're going to twist over, the legs over to the left side. So tipping your legs up and over to the left side, place your right foot down towards the ground, hold onto your right ankle with your left hand and pull your ankle in towards the side of the body. Take your right arm in line with your shoulder. A bit of a bigger opening, take your right hand up towards the sky. Nice big opening into the right side of the, of the hip here. And you turn your head towards your right hand. head back towards the center, and then take your legs back towards the center, bringing both knees into the chest, and then take your right foot, left foot down towards the ground. Cross your left ankle over the right knee. You may remain here for figure four, or you're going to wrap your hands around the right leg, put off the floor, flex both feet again. Place your right hand, uh, left hand, sorry, onto the inside of the left knee and press Nice and gentle, feeling the opening through the left side of the hip here now, feeling that stretch. Inhaling, always thinking about length. Your inhale breath is really, really great for supporting your spine, opening up. Your exhale breath is always good for the release. So inhale, opening, strength, lengthening, exhale, release. Body soften with your exhale breath. Be twisting over. So taking your legs up and over to the right side. Hold on to the left ankle with your right hand and pull the ankle in towards your hip. Take your left arm in line with your shoulder and have it straight toward the other. And turn your head the opposite way of your right. Left knee coming up towards the sky. It comes back towards the center. Legs come back towards the center. Take both knees into the chest, give yourself a little squeeze. Squeeze, take your right foot down towards the ground, left foot down towards the, the ground. We will have a moment of stillness in Shavasana for a few minutes. So you may lie on your back. You may have your legs up the wall. If you're lying on your back here, the knees may be bent. Or you can have your legs straight. You can put a blanket over top of your body for warmth. Squeezing your glutes. And then letting them release, letting them soften will help to relax into the pelvis a little bit more. If you find that your lower back is really lifting up off of the ground, you can bend to the knees. You can also place a towel underneath the knees. For support, and that'll take pressure off the lower back. So finding what is going to work for you for Shavasana. Closing your eyes. 
letting your eye sockets feel heavy. Facial muscles relax, the lips part. The breath softens. I will call you back when it is time. Slowly starting to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, noticing your breath, noticing the sounds around you. If you're lying on your back on the floor, you may slowly start to make your way up. You can roll over to your right side to fetal, bringing your right arm overhead and then bending through the knees and rolling over to the right side. And then slowly making your way up to a comfortable seated position. And it could be with the hips above the knees, taking the pressure off the knees. So you could be sitting on something or sitting on your heels. Placing your hands to your heart center. Thank you everyone for joining me and sharing your practice with me. Enjoying the rest of our week. Moving forward together. Namaste.